Hello friends, welcome to another video. This video is based on another question posted on Power BI Community Forum. Let's go through the question and then we will uh, look into the solution as well. So the question was, a user is looking to uh, get the sum of the most recent uh, inventory, I guess, uh, based on the date. So for example, there are these three barcodes, 577-444-999. For 577, the most recent transaction is on 30th of January, 21, and the value is six. And uh, similarly on 444, the most recent transaction is 16th of January, 2021, and the value is six. And 999 is 19th of January, and the value is six. So basically what user is looking for, have this row, for 577 have the, uh, this row for 444 and have this row for 999 and then get those values and then sum that up this is like very common question where you have to see the most recent maybe stock level or inventory and just get the sum of that so how we can do this let's get to power bi so here i have some uh, dummy data i created 444 i changed some um, uh, numbers here just to to make sure that it, it works out well so now what we want is 9 for 444 6 for 577 and 3 for 999 so to do this first we need to find out the most recent transaction date for the each barcode and I have a um, let's actually write a measure here uh, let's call it uh, most recent date by barcode so what that would be first we want to have the top value uh, we can use the top end function and get the based on the descending get the first um, first row from from uh, for each barcode so let's call it a recent date so this will be top end so we want the first value and then what we want is we want to filter our table and we we want only to be filtered by barcode and any other filter coming on uh, we will just ignore that so we will use all except here so what does that means is uh, if we're looking only filter on the table bar uh, on the barcode column and remove any other filter is on the table and then what we will do here is we will get the calculate maximum table date and then sort it by descending the reason why we want the descending because we want it to be the sorted by the most recent date on the uh, on the top and then we get the top and one value of that so if we return this table we, of course we cannot return the table but we can get a value from this table we can use max x or min x doesn't matter so recent date and let it return the date so let's use this measure in our visualization here so most recent date so as you can see on 444 barcode we have the most recent date which is 16th of January and for 577 it's 13th of January and 999 it is 19th of January. So this, this is most recent date. So we now know the most recent date. What we need to do here is now get the a, a sum for value for number of bikes for that particular date and then sum that up. So to do that what we will do is um, let me write another measure let's call it most recent inventory so what we're going to do is we're going to sum x summarize the reason why we're going to use summarize because we are going to group it by the um, the barcode so we have a table and then table barcode and now here what we need is 
we will create a placeholder column and the name of the um, a column which will store the measure value so what that would be calculate so we will get the same logic what we used in our most recent date in that we used this uh, max x but here we will use a sum because we want to sum the inventory of the bikes and rest of the logic should be same so what we want is to open one all except I should have copied it from there but uh, let's write it it's not that long barcode and then what we want is calculate get the maximum date and that will be our open sorry we have to be sorted by descending and that will give us a top end table and then we have a calculate which will give us a sum so now once this so this is the part of the summary so what we are getting here is for each barcode we are getting the sum of the bikes based on the most recent date so now with, with this summarize table so we have a sum max so which will iterate over this summarize table and then we will uh, um, uh, this variable or the column which we created in our summarize table which holds the sum of the bike values we are iterating over this summarize table and then um, adding uh, summarizing our inventory column which we created in summarize table so if we just press enter here and if we go back to our uh, table so let's make it a little bit bigger now add the new column which we just created so here you go so we have on 444 16th of january is the most recent date and the sale is uh, the, the the inventory is nine dollar uh, nine pieces and on 577 it is 13 and uh, the value is six if we go 999 we go three so the total is 18. I hope you found this video useful. It's a pretty simple uh, DAX measure which allow us to use the top end function to get the most recent date and then based on that particular uh, date then we sum the uh, number of bikes. I will be bringing some more videos in coming days. Do subscribe my channel. Until next video, have a good day. Thanks for watching.